The Delta variant continues to cause a surge of COVID-19 cases among the unvaccinated population. Health experts say the Delta variant is 200% more contagious than the original COVID-19 virus. Right now, Baptist Health has 322 COVID-19 patients with 74 of those individuals in the ICU. And UF Health is reporting 149 COVID patients inside their hospital with 40 of those patients in ICU. CTO and medical director for Triage Logic, Dr. Raheja, joins us this morning. Thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you for having me. And talking with us. This really is an important issue to address. Many people are home right now watching with their loved ones. What is it that you want people to know this morning? The most important thing is you have to get vaccinated. When you look at all these hospitalizations, when you look at all the serious cases, it's 97% of our unvaccinated. And people, there's been this hesitation among younger people to get vaccinated. And I think there's a couple of things happening. One is it started, people thought this was a disease of over 65. Uh, But it really does affect younger people. And then the younger people also feel like they can just ride it out. Uh, There's also been a lot of misinformation about side effects like infertility, which is just not true. So I think there's a big hesitation for vaccination among the younger population. And over 50% of the cases in the uh, serious cases are under 40 years old. You spoke, uh, I want to touch upon a few of things that you mentioned. One being the younger populations. You you address some of the hesitancy that they might have when it comes to receiving the COVID-19 vaccine. Yes. What about the population that is not able yet to receive the vaccination? Are we seeing cases among children younger than 12? So we're, see, we're seeing them that doesn't seem to be as much as the population from 12 to 40. Um, and so the, but under 12, they still recommend wearing a mask when you're out in public and around people that you don't know. So they really just have to be careful. We're hoping the new vaccine six months and above will come out by this fall. Yeah. And in which case then we'll be in much better shape. I know this conversation will definitely pick up or continue to grow uh, with momentum in the coming weeks as children head back to school and right. we talk about, you know, adults getting the vaccine versus these these school populations that aren't yet able to. Absolutely. Uh, when we talk about the Delta variant, are the symptoms with the Delta variant similar to that of the COVID virus or is it different let's talk about that the symptoms are all the same the difference is the contagiousness so basically what as you mentioned the delta variant spreads so much quicker so if you have one person as the delta variant it's likely it'll get four people infected if they're not vaccinated versus earlier when we had the original covid it was just you know a one whatever it was a much less uh contagiousness so it's not the symptoms but it's the contagiousness so so many more people will get sick and th- there is some data starting to show possibly that it's more severe mm. uh, which has not been 100 percent proven yet so we don't know that yet uh, we know people can still contract the virus even after being vaccinated what is you know playing devil's advocate here and in and listening to the people scream in my <laughs> ear you know well what, what the vaccination uh Uh, point being made. What is the benefit to getting vaccinated being that you can still contract the virus? So with Pfizer and Moderna, it's like 96% effective. Mm -hmm. So first of all, there's a very small chance you'll get it. And if you do get it, the cases have been very mild. So basically the reason to get vaccinated is so you don't get hospitalized and you don't end up being really sick and dying. Why is it medical professionals are not receiving the vaccine? That is a good question that I don't have the answer to. Um, it, it is amazing that people, I think, again, it's a First lot of misinformation. responders, misinfor- right? Yeah, yeah, it's just a lot of misinformation. I think people are scared, and again, or they, they're worried about the vaccine, or they want to wait and ride it out to see what happens in the long run. Uh, but I think it's a lot of misinformation that's causing people not to get the vaccine. Well, we thank you so much for taking the few minutes to uh, join us this morning and talk with us about this important issue. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate